Hey everybody, NC Prepper here with you today. Uh, coming back with a, uh, finally getting out to do some videos. The snow has get, kept me trapped in, inside. Um, but today I really, uh, get really excited to show off a new product that I was sent uh, by the uh, company Sunjack. Uh, they've, they asked that if I could do a review on one of the new products that they've got coming to market. Uh, it's, I recently sent it on Amazon. It's about $39.99, a $40 price tag. Uh, really nice uh, so far. I've been really impressed with it. Um, it does. This is the box that it comes in. It does say Sun Jack. Uh, I'll read a little bit off of here. Uh, it's a waterproof light. Um, from what I have seen so far, it says that it is uh, waterproof to six feet uh, for 30 minutes. Uh, LED light. Um, it does have an emergency flash on it, uh, and it, in addition to that, it is a 5200 milliamp power bank with a 2 amp USB output. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of what it came in the box when I opened it. Um, it's got three brightness levels plus flash, up to 21 hours of light from one charge. Built-in battery bank charges up to three smartphones. Um, I would don't know if I would believe that or not because typically when you when you talk about these higher power phones, um, I think my Samsung S5 Active is like a 32 or 38 hundred milliamp battery, so you couldn't charge that three times. But um, you know you could top it off a couple of times. I, I would I would give it that. But let's go ahead and just get into the box and see what we what, what comes with it. So. It comes with the light. There are a couple lanyards that comes with it. Uh, there are holes in either end for the lanyards to go in. And there is a, a small micro USB and an instruction book. Um, I have looked at this already. Um, I'll say the, the instruction book that comes with this is a little nicer than some of them I have seen. It's got a lot of great detail in there. Tells you how everything works on the on the light. Um, gives you some more specifications. Um, so it's, it is. I'll give the manual a plus because it really did. Uh, um, it, it does do a good job. Um, where some manuals are not so good. So and you probably know what I mean. Um, I'll start out with the light a little bit. Um, it's got the on-off switch right there. I have noticed, and I haven't seen it in any of the literature this actually does glow in the dark uh, not really brightly but it does glow in the dark so if it's dropped you could see that glowing in the dark um it says sun jack on there um as i said it's got two lanyard holes uh one for the lanyards that can, these both come with it um one of the neat things that i had thought about doing with this is you can see how it hangs so with the video you've probably seen on my channel about my uh Eno hammock uh, i could tie this across my ridge line and what's nice is you know they put a little thought into it where they put the holes on the side where it would make the light always shine down so uh, it does have the three brightness levels um, i'm not exactly sure what the different levels are at each point but at the maximum is 350 lumens so that's a bright light uh, one of the things that it does do um, is you can also see although in person it doesn't flash i don't know if it'll pick up on the video i'll have to see that but um it shows the uh that's how the charge indicator and that's what that light was there so uh and it does flash you just push and hold it for a second or two and the light turns off um so yeah it's a really nice light it's a sturdy light you know it seems to be really rugged um it does have a cap on the end here that you you'll unscrew that cap um, and there's a waterproof uh, there's o-ring in there to keep this part waterproof so you have your charging port for to charge the light on top and the usb plug which everybody probably recognizes all this stuff to charge your devices um, caps goes on pretty smoothly you know it's a real nice cap um, it does have in case you've ever for misplaced your book or whatever um, that you can see some of the details here on the side as well so 
I think the light weighs just under a pound. It's, it is a little on the heavy side, but not too bad. You know, it's uh, it's and it is weighted more towards one end than the other. I did notice that as well. So, but you can use it as in your car, uh, you know, to, to light up the road. Uh, you know, you could uh, flag someone down with that. So it's a really bright light, but, and then you can also just turn on the low setting and have, uh, you know, and have uh, something just to find some keys or whatever if you've dropped it as well. So I did uh, make some notes here um, of some of the, the things that I do like about it and didn't like about it. So I'll pull out my notes here real quick. Um, the, the pros, you know, I, I thought that there was very good construction uh, I do like that the lanyard holes can hold the light horizontally. Uh, they could put that in the manual too, you know, as a selling point to be able to say, hey, you could string this across a ridge line and, and light up your camp's area. If, um, I was, you know, and this is something I just happened to notice and I, I was pretty happy about it, is when I took it out of the box, it was showing that it was three-fourths already charged. So that's, that's pretty nice. The battery life does seem to hold for a while because you don't know when they build these, you don't know when they charge them to test them, but it's, it's, I did like that it came almost fully charged and it was ready to use right out of the box. Um, I did like that the, this glows in the dark and, you know, I wish they would put that in the manual, you know, as a good selling point. I'd recommend that to the company. Um, and I did like the fact that in the manual, it gives you a lot of the, um, um, life expectancies of the battery. All right, now on to some of the things I didn't like about the light, or I think that I, I would uh, recommend for improvement. Um, one of the things is I didn't like the fact that you can't see what the battery charge level is without turning the light on. So you may just want to see what your battery level is at without seeing the light. I mean, you can turn it on, see what the level is, and push and hold it, and it does turn off, uh, turns the whole light off. But if you could just tap it or something and just to see what the battery level is at I think would be nice without turning the whole light on. Um, uh, it's a little on the heavy side, a little, I know I have with the battery technology these days they might be able to choose a lighter battery in the future but still have the same capacity. Um, but I'm sure they're trying to get it at a certain price point um, which uh, believe me that is nothing. It's, it's not a bright deal breaker at all. Um, Ah, one of the things that I think that I, and I have passed this along to them since then, is this cap, uh, I, what I think that they could do is, um, well, I'll show you first. If you lose this cap, your light's not waterproof anymore. And that's a big deal, because I don't know if you can buy replacement caps from them. Um, what I had thought they could do possibly, and I don't know that it would... Um, mess up the integrity of the cap at all is to possibly just put a little mold a loop right here so that you could use this to tie to this lanyard possibly um, so that it's tied to the light uh, and it's probably a nitpicky thing but if you're outside and you're using this and you drop this it's black you know unless there's snow on the ground you could lose this cap very easily and this light is no longer waterproof anymore so uh, and, and I did, like I said, I did pass that along to back to, as some uh, preliminary feedback to them, and they were pretty receptive to that. I, I hope to see that as a change in the future. Um, but yeah, um, they didn't specifically say I couldn't do this. And what I wanted to do though is uh, I don't want to get the lanyards all messy. Um, you can probably see that the uh, it's been snowing here. Well, a lot of it's melted. Um, for you with this but let me I want to take these lanyards out and I'm gonna do a little water test and see I'm not gonna dunk it in six feet of water but I'm gonna drop it in some water just to see turn the lights on let you see if it does stay lit up so let's put these in the pocket make sure to screw the cap down um, you know it does have an o-ring so I don't know that you have to crank it down real real hard but uh, let me do this let me um, pause the camera real quick and I'll reset it because there's some air, water that I want to go test this in and uh, and we'll dunk it real quick so be right back all right so I got this this reset a little bit um, and make sure this is done pretty tight um, I'm gonna turn it on to its bright setting just so because the, the muddy's a little the, the water's a little muddy a little murky so um, 
just so I'll be able to see it. And uh, this, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera a little bit and let's go ahead and. All right. Ah, one cool thing is, is that it floats. Um, I'm noticing right away. I don't know if it, yeah. So um, let's take this. Yeah, there we go. Just hold it under for a little bit. Um, some of the uh, things I had thought about doing that we could do as well is um, I have a, a Sunjack um, USB LED light bulb that I have used in previous uh, camping trips that I had thought what I could do is plug that in and uh, see if that lights up and gives you a second set of um, uh, you know, a light source to possibly extend your light a little bit. But yeah, this, now I will say too, this water is, has um, still got ice in it. So uh, it's cold. Um, yeah, it seems to be doing great. Yeah, I like that. It really, it floats, but you know, pops back up, floats. So that's cool. Uh, all right. No worse for the wear. Yeah, looks good. Seems to work just fine. Yeah, I like this, how they've got that, uh, you know, everything sealed up here. Which I think that's just the glue. I don't think that's water. Because it's on, it was, I think I had seen that before I dunked it in. But the light's still on. I guess that's the big thing right there. So, yeah, so far. So far, so good. Okay. So I would definitely, I'd say to buy. I, I would give it a two. I would give it two thumbs up. Um, it, it's an amazing light. I really do like it. I think that it's uh, definitely worthwhile, and it will. It, I don't know if I'd send it back yet, but if I do have to send it back, I don't have a problem with it. I would definitely buy one of these. So, um, well, I'd like to thank you for watching my video today. Um, if you liked it and thought it was uh, useful, get, please give me a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe. Thanks everybody.